Hey all you zealots and zerglings, I've got a special treat for you today. This is my very first mono battle. Well, okay. Yeah, I guess we could say my very first mono battle. Uh, I thought it was... I, I, these things always look fun, and so I wanted to try to get my friends to do this. So here we are on a special mono battle map, and I have spawned as the red zerg. And my allies are Wolfpack, the yellow Protoss. Dunamai, the purple Zerg, and Contrarian, the green Protoss, and we will be against... If I can actually click here, CCCP, the blue Zerg, Sergeant Starpants, the pink Terran, Clever, the clever, I mean the orange Zerg, and Lunka, the light gray Protoss. So if you're unfamiliar with mono battles, it's basically you can only pick one, or you can only build one attacking unit the entire game, and this is a special custom map for it on on a megaton that basically you, you pick at the beginning and you're forced with it, and we can actually see what everyone else's uh, units are, it just doesn't display in the replay right now. But we'll just have to go a quick run through that. I am doing Hydralisks. I asked and that's what they want us, so that's what they're going to get, and... Um, Wolfpack is. I'm not sure what Wolfpack's getting. We're gonna let's do the Zerg first, so we can actually see what their what their choices are. And if I can pick that, it looks like we're getting Ultralisks here for clever. And CCCP, I believe, was also doing Hydralisks. Yeah, he is also doing Hydralisks. So Hydra, Hydra, Ultra. And oh, I should probably explain this. You're gonna see a lot of comments out of this. Dunamai was not making any friends because his computer. Well, his internet has issues, and it was lagging quite a bit, and I don't think they were happy about that. So now, if, I don't know if we can figure out what anyone else is here. And my uh, This game was too many days ago, I don't quite remember. I think Wolfpack was going Archon, and Contrarian was going Stalker. We can actually probably find that. Yeah, he's going Stalker. If we look at Wolfpack, is yeah, he can get Templar, so he was doing Archon. And can we figure out what anyone else is doing? We have no uh, building structure there. And let's see, Lunka. Looks like Lunka was going Zealots. So I believe, actually, now that I recall, that uh, Sergeant Starpants was going to be doing Thors. So that's what we got. We got Hydra Ultra Thor Zealot on our opponents. And we are doing Stalker, Archon, um, Hydra. Oh, and I forgot, uh, I forgot our little lag buddy here. And he was doing... Mutalisks, that's right. So that's that's the units we're being going to be producing here. Looks like we're getting some early expands here for our opponents. Clever taking the base over here. Sergeant Starpants taking the far expansion over here, and C CCCP taking this base. And what is going on here? Oh, those are just overlords. I'm like, we got buildings here already, so no one's taking this expansion yet. We have not expanded yet either. I'm getting a layer tech up because I definitely need that to get my hydras. Also gonna need to keep up the gas because ga I found that making hydro is fairly gas intensive. I could probably use some expansion too, although I'm a little strapped for minerals right now. So it's probably not gonna be very exciting for a while because everyone's gotta hurry and try to get their tech structures up so they can build the units that they need. Although Katrain has now able to get his stalkers on because he has his cybernetics core. Looks like he's probably had it for a while though because his warp gate technology is well underway. People here like Clever and uh, Sergeant Starpants are going to be waiting a while as they're doing Tier 3. Looks like this stalker's going around for a little bit of harassment. Uh, don't... Must have missed all the excitement because he's now heading home. I'm going to swing by the watchtower and meet his buddy. But yeah, not, not too much going on here yet. Looks like we do have the Twilight Council here for Wolfpack. And what's he going to go for? Looks like he's going to do the Templar Archive route. I don't know, what, is it, what are the different vary costs? Templar, High Templar costs 50, 150. Dark Templar, 125, 125. So it seems like High Templar to me would be the more cost effective uh, unit, although Dark Templar are a little more balanced in the resource usage. Because both of these, either of these, can be used to warp an Archon. In fact, you can even merge a Templar and a Dark Templar into an Archon if you really want to. Oh, it looks like we have some stalker ass here from Katrina. Was forced to cancel on. I don't know what was going on there? It must have been a, yeah, it must have been a spine crawler. You might want to focus that down, Katrina. 
I don't think you're going to get this down before that spine crawler pops. You got to be careful. Although you can kite Zelts pretty well with Stalkers, I'd imagine. But now that spine crawler is probably going to force him out. And spine crawler is going to get it up, although he's got down quite a bit of damage. Oh, if he can. Oh, I was about to say, if he can micro that Stalker back, it'd be perfect, but he didn't even need to. The shields are intact. The spine crawler goes down, and this expansion's got zero chance of survival unless they hurry up quick. And here come a bunch of Zelts. I don't know if they're going to make it in time. They got to move. They gotta move quickly. This hatchery's got not much left. And oh, it looks like we do have Hydro Scout for CCCP right now. And oh, Katrina, I don't want to lose these stalkers. Is he gonna focus down? Oh, he's gonna get the surround on that stalker, and he's not gonna get away. These stalkers can get a few more shots off. They can snipe this, and it looks like Dunamai's getting his Mutalisks out now. They're trying to micro to get it down, and one more shot. No, one more shot, and that is gonna go down. But I don't know if he wants to lose all his stalkers in the process. Is gonna get away though. Is that? Oh, that's not gonna be fine. Looks like Wolfpack is gonna be tasting expansion here. I'm gonna be taking my own expansion because I needs to get me a second base up, pretty much. It looks like I do have my hydrolysis up as well. Let's do a quick look at the units lost, and it looks like it's basically CCCP doing the worst. Although Contrarian looked like he invested a lot into that harassment. And what did what did Clever lose? I don't know what Clever lost. Oh, we don't need to see that. That's there's way too much information there. Despite the fact that there's only eight different attacking units that can be produced. Looks like I'm going to be spreading my creeps so I can connect these two bases because Hydros are so slow without creep. And looks like we can get a ping here. Looks like Dunamai is trying to harass with Zemulus, but there's more than enough Hydros to force that completely away. And did get a spine crawler down here to help defend this, although he needs to get some creep down or that thing's going to be in trouble. Spine crawlers will take damage if they are not on creep. And there we go. We're gonna produce, actually going to produce some creep by the overlords. But not, I don't know. Well, that might be enough to, get to cover that. And looks like Contrarian is just kind of scouting around, seeing if that expansion is here. Did someone take that before? Actually, I think someone did take that before. So he must have take, sniped that expansion as well. Completely missed that. It's going to be hard to keep track of the minimap with so many players going on. And and looks like Dunamai's internet can troubles do continue and Dunamai is scouting around with his mutalisks I don't, I don't think he's affected by the lag I think he can move his units around and he just lags everyone else's computer wow we got a lot going on here getting some upgrades pumping out those zealots looks like he's going to try to retake the expansion and you need to do something with this spine crawler he's taking way too much damage just move it over here. And then said he's going to put another spy crawler there, but this thing is ticking. Look at that. The health is ticking down. I'm not sure if he's aware of that. Those mules come in. They might be able to get a snipe. I don't know. I'd be dangerous to snipe. try to snipe it with those hydrosks sitting there. Instead, he's going to fly around right between these two expansions, and there's no anti air here except this queen and a Nidus worm. I guess he just wants to quickly get stuff over there. And. <laughs> Well, I guess the nice room is going to come in handy because he can just run right into it. But he is going to leave his base completely undefended. Taking out that Nidus Worm. Although I don't think he was in much danger right away because I believe Clever is doing, doing Ultralisks. So even if he did pop something out there, unless he popped out a ton of Queens. And, oh, I don't know if this is the best engagement for those Mutalisks, but they will clean it up. So I, mean, I guess that worked out. He does have quite a few Mutalisks. And Mutalisks, I think Hydros are slightly better than Mutalisks damage wise in a one on one but when he but I think he had the numbers to make it worth his while to take those out oh he's gonna run those run those spine crawlers into a corner when they can be easily sniped and can't get anywhere safe but no Dunamai is gonna sweep over here now and take out this base couple of missile turrets up but not enough oh he's gonna try to mass repair is he gonna save it is he gonna save it I think he's saving I think he's out repairing mutilous damage and then here come the hydros force them out, but now we got Dunamai, or we got Contrarian over here now harassing this expansion again, which is really bad for Clever because he needs to get Ultralisks out, and does he even have any Ultralisks yet? No. Is he producing any Ultralisks? He's producing three Ultralisks, but he needs another base or someone to feed him resources desperately, or he will not be able to cover the cost of Hyros, and we do have Thor's are here for Sergeant Starpants. Oh, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. How am I doing? Well, I got quite a few uh, Hydralisks out now. Had some excess minerals, so I thought let's pop down a bunch of spine crawlers, protect my base as much as I possibly can. Like, get this guy to work. He's just sitting there. What's he doing? 
and I've, I've decided since there's not really any expansions here and there's no really need to wall off, I'm going to start spreading my creep to this side of the map to give my Tidrus as much mobility as absolutely possible. It looks like we got some Stalker Muta here for Contrarian and Dunamai, and no Blink yet for Contrarian. I hope he gets on that, but he does have 1-1 one, one upgrades. And, oh, looks like he's just going to scout with that Stalker. And I don't think he's going to like what he finds. Yeah, I think those two Hydros are going to easily completely destroy that Stalker. Oh, oh, is he going to get away? Oh, and he's going to use the fact that he's way faster than Hydralisks. And here, another Nidus Worm. Where did that come up? I guess he's just going to put another Nidus Worm in his expansion. He's really trying to keep his base connected together. But, oh, and now he's got, we got Stalkers here for the train above. Oh, out popped the Ultralisks. But no, it looks like he doesn't figure he can take that out, so he's just going to abandon base once again. Spore Crawler's out now to take care of the Mutalus, and now he's dealing with Stalkers. That has just got to be painful for him. Oh, and there's... Oh, and he's got Thors here, just completely destroying the Mutalisks. The mortal enemy of the Mutalisk is the Thor. Those guys do not get along. And it looks like is going to be taking this gold expansion right across from where Clever wants to take it. Oh! And carelessly leaving his Mutalist there, and they are going to get completely sniped. And uh, where's that Archon production? I'm not seeing any Archons here yet here. Wolfpack, where are you? There's your Archons. He's getting upgrades for those Archons. You know, if he's going all Archons, I really think ignore armor. Archons have 10 hit points, and I believe the armor is only going to affect those 10 hit points, which means he's getting no benefit from this. Put it into shields. That That is one time when you're definitely going to want to get a shield upgrade is when you're going only Archons. Again, quite a few Stalkers here now for Contrarian. Who's just been using them to harass relentlessly. And now, oh, looks like uh, Sergeant Starpants is going to put down some anti mutilisk defense for this base. And it looks like my creep highway has almost reached uh, Dunamai's expansion. Which, great, I'll have some free creep there to, to connect up with. And so, just poking around. Looks like Wolfpack's going to put down some cannons to help defend this gold. And whoop, those stalkers are going to kind of interfere with that. But are they going to try to push up here? It looks like, once again, does Clever just keep jumping back and forth between expansions until he finds one that he can actually hold? Oh, and burrowing is ultralisk. It's the most ridiculous and hilarious thing when Blizzard decided to allow ultralisks to burrow because it's just, it's just silly. Them things are huge. They they classified as massive. Yet, yeah, yeah, we'll just pop in the ground. Nobody will see that. No one's gonna see these huge, massive spikes just jutting out of the ground. Oh, that's just a, it's just a, a hill. And oh, up, up, the ultralisks. And is this gonna be enough? Oh, looks like he does have blink now. Using that blink, might go to try to keep away from the ultralisks. And doing a fantastic job of it. I'll even blink those, not those. Completely destroyed and losing Ultralis when that's all you're building is just gotta be horrible. And trying to run his spore crawlers away. Really worried about this Mutalus, but that is not the biggest problem now. And these Hydros are just slowly trying to drag themselves over there. But they're so slow off the creep. Oh, and here come a bunch of zealots, and trainer has got to be careful. He looks like he's now surrounded. He might be able to get out using Blink, but... Yeah, he's going to try his best to try to get out using Blink, and I think he's going to lose quite a few stalkers, though. But he did deny Clever another in expansion. Look, Clever just cannot keep an expansion up, and he is arguably the one that needs it the most right now to keep up this army. It looks like they're going to keep pressing... Oh, but they're going to meet the Archons now, Wolfpack, which are going to do bonus damage to Biological, and with nothing to protect those Hydros, they're going to get completely destroyed if they do not get out of there. Oh, and, another, and a Blink by Contrarian is just going to completely finish off this army, but here come a bunch of Thors, and I'm not sure who wins between Thors and Archons, but this is a lot of Archons. And they do get splash damage, just watch these Thors are just melting away, it looks like. Well, they're not completely melting away, but the Archon numbers are not decreasing all that quickly. And they will easily clean this up. So first an Ultra Force goes down, and then a Thor Force. This is just a huge investment for these guys. Not one that they can afford either. And now the Zealots are getting destroyed. Which I believe Zealots do count as biological, so the Archons are also going to do some good damage against them. But they're getting a good surround now. And it looks like they are going to get some of these Archons completely 
killed. But not entirely. And oh, Looks like he lost clever. He kind of left a drone sitting there. Maybe he was going to expand again. He's like, we'll just wait till they leave and then I can expand. Oh, oh and purring these hydralisks too. It's a good thing there's not an observer. I'm not even sure if he's allowed to build observers. Let's see if we can build detection. Find one of my overlords. I can make an overseer, so I, I can create detection if I want. So I'm assuming everybody can as well. I don't think anyone's got a robo bay where I can check to see if they can make an observer. And it looks like Clever is going to try over on this side again to see if he can get this base up. And it looks like I've now advanced my Hydralisk Force and my Spine Crawlers to kind of defend this front. And it's not been a lot of activity over here. A little bit, of, a little bit up here, and I'm not sure what that queen is doing for CCP. Can't really inject on Clever's hatchery. Oh, was there more activity here, or are they just still hanging around here? Katrina is actually going to drop a pile in here. Looks like they're ready to make some aggressive moves against this front door. Quite a good defensive force right here for Clever. Just trying to hold the line, but he's got it. Does he have any ultralists out right now? He has one ultralist. Whoa! Well, actually, back up, back up the trolley. I thought he had more ultralisks than that. Because I am absolutely missing activity right here. There we go. Looks like I've decided to move my Hydralisks out now. And what is here to defend? Two Ultralisks. Is he going to pop up? I don't know if that was a good idea to pop up. Oh no, he's going to pop up to retreat again. Oh no, he's going to change his mind and attack. But there's a lot of Hydralisks. I don't think two Ultralisks are going to take on this many Hydralisks. Are they bringing anything to defend? Looks like I even have it as... No, not... The Dunamite Zergling. Must be a change. Oh, yeah, it's a change thing. I was about to say, I was a little confused there. So, once again, this expansion denied by Clever. Nope, here comes Dunamite. He's like, oh, can I help? Oh, wait, wait, nope, what? No, nothing? No, oh, okay. Even spreading my creep behind that. I probably could do my spine crawlers up, too. Oh, and here comes a counter force. Hydra's Zealot. And, oh, we got to keep those guys together. If you get them split up, it looks like I have. I definitely have him outnumbered on the Hydralisk front. So he's got to keep these forces together as much as possible. And I pull back to my Spine Crawlers, which is going to... Oh, pull back, pull back, pull back. And he is way outnumbered. And I've got two, two upgrades, and he's only got one, one. And these Zealots also... Well, one, 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 two. But I got some pretty decent upgrades, so they got to be very careful about engaging here. Aggressive, and I've got some aggressive creep tumors right now. And oh, these zealots are undefended. These mules are going to get some free kills right now. But he's got to be careful. Those hydralists are not far off. The hydralists are going to run away. That's a plus to attack on those mules, but that's more than enough hydralists to take that out. But free, free kills for the mutalisks. Oh, are they going to notice that zergling? Oh, that zergling's just scouting, or that changeling, I should say, is just scouting around. They sit with this army. No one's making zergling this game. You're not fooling anyone, except for CCCP, who is completely fooled right now. He's like, what? Oh, no, it looks like that it's dead now. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. I could advance. I should advance these spine crawlers. And look, I've got more free creep to to kind of spread around, and more aggressive of offensive creep tumors. I'm just encroaching on CCCP's creep right now. The, it'd be hilarious if I brought an overseer up here and started sniping his own creep tumors and replacing them with mine. Oh, looks like we got a battle going on over here. I hope I didn't miss anything right now. Someone have to tell me if I missed anything, because I was not completely not paying attention to that side of the map. But it looks like we we're about to have something aggressive right now. A planetary on the high ground, really trying to hold the ground here. And we need to get these other stalkers in here. Why are they just sitting back? Yeah, we need to get those in the battle right now, or this is going to be completely one-sided. This is not really what they want to do. We could have just held outside and probably starved them to death. We could deny their expansions. So I don't know if, uh, if attacking into this was really the best choice. With all these stack defenses, all these Thors, and a planetary... Now apparently you've dropped some mules for some repair. But meanwhile, I've got my Hydralisk advancing on this side, and Sergeant Starpants is going to have some trouble at his expansion. He does have a, a, a planetary there, but this is a lot of Hydralisks. Still only 2-2 two, two Hydralisks, but that is going to be more than enough to completely destroy that planetary. And it looks like we've Katrina's got some stocks under this base, but I don't think they've got much left. They're probably going to get cleaned up here pretty soon, but... Yeah, it looks like I'm pulling my Hydralisks out, too. And it looks like uh, Dunamai is going to be taking out this. And watch out for that Photon Cannon. There you go. 
Oh, it looks like I see he's still attacking here, so I decide I'll give him a little bit of support. And oh, he's going to bring out some Hydras. Still only 1-1, one, one, and way, 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 way outnumbered. Meanwhile, in the meantime, I have advanced my spine crawler force. And just completely destroying this side of the map. They're probably, they've got to be running out of money soon. And we can check the income right now. Yeah, Clever is at zero. Lunka's the only one that's got any sort of income whatsoever. And that's just because the expansion hasn't been destroyed yet. And we still have a ton of resources, especially Dunamai, who I believe is mining from this gold over here. Oh no, he's not mining from the gold. Oh yes, he is mining from the gold. And now here comes some CCP Hydralisks, but I still have a ton of Hydralisks left. Oh, but here comes some Thors. Max upgrades on those Thors right now, and... But now hardly any of the Thors are actually firing, and now they're firing at Mutalisks, which is probably not the biggest threat right now, but... It looks like he's got enough to clean this up. Completely destroyed my Hydralisk Force, which I was really concerned about, because that's a lot of Thors to have living when your entire army just got completely obliterated. But look at this. Not only am I having offensive creep tumors, I've got an offensive hatchery as I now take the gold that Clever's been trying to take this entire game. Still quite a bit of resources left on here, so my, definitely worth my while to take this. And it's going to be hard for them to get back. I mean, they could run around, but i got a lot of spine crawlers here. I probably could even move them forward right here. And actually, you can probably see these. You can actually see my spine, offensive spine crawlers. Look at that. What do you do? The view I can actually see the, all the units. I gotta remember that the next time I do mono battles. Oh, it looks like Dunam. I got a little careless with his mutilus again. Well, there's a lot of Thors out there. So we have now officially taken more than 50% of this map. With mine taken, and look at all these drones I got thrown in here right now, because I think I'm mined out everywhere else. Yeah, I'm mined out on my main. My, I'm pretty much mined out in my expansion. And we check the income again. I still have one of the largest incomes going right now, but they are getting spent. Now, Sergeant Starpants has got no money left. Lunk is running low. It's just CCCPs, basically because, well, he's going to be trying to retake this, but... They just, they need, they need bases desperately. It looks like, it looks like uh, Sergeant Starpants is going to try to retake this. The creep's kind of encroaching. His, his buddy's creep is actually encroaching and making this not an optimal position, I think. I'll say we have some more stalkers from Trarian going to try to deny Clever once again. Clever just cannot get a break. Every expansion he puts up is trying is trying to get sniped. And look where are these Thors. I don't know if those Thors just kill us. Probably one of those Contrarian stalkers because I can't imagine anything else that dies like that that would actually be in this game. Oh, and here comes some. Oh, Archons for Wolfpack are going to destroy these Zealot forces. And now the Thors have nobody protecting them right now. Contrarian is going to blink right into this, and this could actually help take out the entire stock force. They actually left this pylon alive, which is going to let Contrarian get some, a little bit of flanking here. Yeah, these mules got to be careful. They can magic box and probably do a lot of damage here, though. But it looks like it's not going to be leaded. This, this force is going to clean up. I was wondering why those Archons weren't shooting. He's actually using the 55 or the 250 millimeter strike cannons on them. Something you almost never see, and I'm not even sure when the most appropriate time to use that is. It means if it was splash damage, maybe that would make sense, but I just can't figure out when you use that upgrade. And it looks like I was didn't have to be completely concerned about losing all my Hydros, because they are back with a vengeance, and these guys are 3-3, and they are P.O.'d that all their brothers have already died. Whew. Oh, and now this plant here is going to going down. Here comes some Hydros to try to stop it, but this thing is dead. Planetary is not going to survive unless he gets an SCV out here really quick. And oh, these stalkers are going to try to blink in and finish it off. No, it looks like they're going to blink in to die. Oh, he's going to try to sneak in to snipe it. I guess not. But there's no one coming to repair this right now. And more stalkers from Contrarian. Has he got full upgrades? He oh, he just got one shield upgrade left. Oh, is he gonna? Oh, he's gonna just get an SCV in there in time. So he is gonna save that planetary. One quick just run in there. They could have sniped that, I think. But that's okay. You don't want to throw away units if you don't have to. And was this with Contrarian, or is he maybe he just dropped down a pylon? But now he's dropped down an offensive pylon. Oh, and he's gonna spot at least one creep tumor. Oh, and he's gonna snipe two creep tumors really quick. So it's not looking bad for our opponents here. They don't have much left. They're running out of money. 
do they even have any mining base anymore? They are still getting some money from somewhere. It looks like they're getting money from here. But those mules just died, and these minerals are about to run out. And now Contrarian's going to take it. I thought my base was offensive. Contrarian's going to take an even more offensive base. But, oh, there's CCCP is going to leave the game. Clever's had enough of this. He's like, I can't get any expansions. He's going to be gone. And I assume their opponent, or their allies, will be soon joining them. And there goes Lunka. And last but not least... But not least... Last but not least... Well, apparently it's not least yet. It looks like the battle is going to continue, but as you can see, it's over. I hope you enjoyed my uh, first mono team mono battle game. I've been wanting to do this for a while. It's going to be a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this one. And if you like it, maybe give it a good good thumbs up and or uh, some uh, supportive comments. And maybe we'll see more of these. If I can convince my friends that it's uh, worth doing. And if Dunamai doesn't make too many enemies with his lagging computer. So I hope you enjoyed my first mono battle game. And there goes Sergeant Starpants. And have a day.